friends. How many of us have them? Friends. How many of us have them? That's the only part of the song I do know. Friends. <laughs> I think this may actually work. This is actually kind of cool. Let's see. I feel like this works. So I propped my camera up on the steering wheel, like in between, like the little hole right there, so you can like see me while I'm driving, and I could just talk, cause I got a nice little drive, and I'm trying to be productive, All right? Let's see if I can bring it down just a little more. I think that will do it. So if my head is cut off, I'm sorry y'all, it's okay. So, I, for those who don't know, my name is Michelle and I am back with another video. And um, what I wanted to talk to, about today was um, relationships. And the reason why I felt like this topic is really important for like two reasons well more than one reason but for a few reasons number one I'm getting married so I'm taking my relationship with a friend that became my boyfriend that became my fiance who's going to become my husband and so I can guess I can really say that you know we've gone through some stages in this relationship and I just kind of want to say that, you know, relationships are important and relationships are work. Like some of us feel that every friendship and every relationship comes easy. If you click, you click. If you don't, you don't. And I just don't believe that's true anymore. <laughs> I used to believe that like, oh, we're friends. We're just going to get along. They're going to get me. I'm going to get them. No, it don't work that way. And um, you got to put time into these relationships even if they're not like not just like male and female female and female relationships male to male relationships work relationships like you gotta work and i'm like goodness like i don't know what i thought i mean you know i ain't got that many friends but um it's a lot of work and for some friendships are worth it to really push through the hard times with that person because I think we give up on a lot of friendships um, sooner than we should and we're not realizing that we kind of hurting ourselves too by not working with that person through whatever they're going through at that time. Um, I have a friend that I've been friends with through high school and we had our moment where we were not getting along child at all and um, she didn't want to be my friend no more because of something that she heard. And it was just a lot and I could not understand. Like, I don't understand. Like, how come you just didn't talk to me? But instead of me like being mad, saying forget her, we ain't never gotta be friends again. For some reason, I really did feel to really like, let me, let me try to figure this out. Cause like we, like we have been friends. I don't understand what's going on. But, um, so anyways, we got past that. And then, um, there have been a couple of times when this friend really acted like she didn't know me. Like, she would walk right past me and not say hi. Um, uh, and all kind of stuff. But, I think one thing you have to always keep in mind is knowing who you're working with. Like, I know, like, which which one of my friends are real sensitive i know which one of my friends are high maintenance i know which one of my friends who don't need a lot um but we could always pick up where we left off like i i, I study people around me so i kind of pick that up about you so i let my friends kind of go through whatever they need to go through till we get to the point where we can talk about it um because not everything they do towards you is about you and um i've learned that too like people go through stuff and just because they may have took it out on you doesn't mean that they were mad at you they just didn't know what to do with those feelings 
or about the situation. And so I try to keep a lot of these things in mind that sometimes people don't do stuff purposely towards you is their reaction because of what they're dealing with in the moment in their lives. And I think that's something to remember uh, about relationships and that we can't take all things personal. And because at first I used to think like, I feel like, well, if you was like, then we can't be cool. Then we not friends. Like, no, that person was going through a moment because if they have dealt with a lot of rejection in their life and they felt like you abandoned them, they're going to be feeling some type of way towards you because they feel rejected by you. And then that rejection comes on so strong that they kind of lash out a little bit. But really you didn't reject them. You just asked them to wait. But because they dealt with a lot of rejection in their life, they take it as if you rejected them rejected them so i think um those are things that you have to remember in friendships and relationships um in general and it's hard sometimes you know loving people through their tough times but i feel like on the other end it's worth it because you've built that rapport with them like they can trust you they know that you're willing to work with them so when they have in a moment they're not going to feel as bad to come talk to you about them having a moment because now they believe that okay you 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 truly love me as a friend because you was with me during x y and z and you stood by me even when i was wrong you stood by me and i was able to do that so i now i know when i do have this issue i can come talk to you because no matter what relationship it is, like you have to build that trust. And if that trust isn't there, you're gonna have a lot of issues in that relationship because relationships is about give and take. Like some well, some days I'm the one giving, 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 but then sometimes there are gonna be times where I need to take, take, take because it's like, man, you, you can help me. You got what I need. You know, friend, help, come over here, help. And your friend can do that. But then there's times when your friend be like, girl, come help me, please. I'm going through some stuff. I need X, Y, and Z for X amount of time. Can you help me? Yes. I can't you know or maybe pair up with another friend if you can't help to the extent that they need you like hey what about your so-and-so friend can we tag team on this problem or, or on on this situation so um, I think those are things to definitely keep in mind working in relationships um, I guess like another example I can use I have a friend uh, where her and her husband's work schedule was just like an hour off, an hour, an hour to two hours off where she was going to have to leave the house and be gone for about an hour and a half until he was able to get off work to come home. And it was just for maybe like maybe like two weeks while they were just adjusting and trying to figure out some things and schedules were changing. And so I just remember like, hey, I have to be at my house at a certain time because she had... Um, a little baby that she didn't go to daycare yet and she needed to uh, she just stayed at home with her parents but for two hours she didn't have anybody to watch her so I adjusted my schedule to make sure I'm home for those two hours to take her you know play with her spend time with her feed her whatever I needed to do with her until her dad came home or her dad came to my house to pick her up either way and because of our friendship, I was willing to do that for however much time that I needed to. And on the days that I couldn't, I either had a replacement that she was comfortable with, for example, my sister, or I'd be like, In one friend, mile, he left um, to merge onto President George Bush Turnpike North. Or I would say, friend, I'm not able to do that right now with my schedule. And, you know, and she understood, but I tried to make it work with her for as long as I could and be there as much as I can. And I think that's important that your friends know that you're willing. You know, like it's one thing because some people just aren't willing to do anything for you. And you need to know the difference between the two. Someone who's willing and don't mind doing it and someone who won't do it. Because sometimes you can't do it, but you're willing. But how your life is set up, you may not be able to. But then there's some people who probably could, and their life is set up to where um, they could do that, but they choose not to. Like, you have to learn the difference. Like, who's willing to and can't, but who's willing to and won't. Two different things. Um, so I think those that's something to good, like good to think about. Um, one thing that I am learning to do, I'm learning to really express my feelings 
towards my friends not just like how I feel Keep about that. something but particularly how I feel about something they have made done to me because a lot of times I, I take on kind of the responsibility and I won't say anything I just be like eh, I know they're going through a tough time or I know X Y and Z is going on but I won't ever Stay say too late. how that made me feel and then the more I thought about it and of course my In fiance miles, continue how my fiance he talks to me about it all the time like you can't not tell people how you feel sometimes especially if they're key people in your life and the more we talk about it the more I kind of really understand where he's coming from in that and it's true like I will hold on to all these feelings and then the end, and I never expressed it to them because they may not be doing it purposely or it or, or they may not notice or it could be something on purpose but if they feel like they can do that to me and I don't say anything then that means it's okay but it's hard because I'm like I don't want to hurt their feelings um, or make them feel some type of way about our friendship but at the same time it is a give-and-take relationship and I have to remember that not just for them but for me like I shouldn't have to I shouldn't feel some type of way or not let you know or keep those feelings to myself like if we're friends i should be able to like friend i don't like how you handle that situation with me i do think you could have done better on handling that because that really to me felt it didn't feel good to me and i have to do better at letting my friends know that i don't like confrontation as much as i'd be ready to get somebody told but that's for strangers i don't mind getting on stranger i don't know you you don't know me but when it comes to people that are really in my life and i'm close to i don't like that confrontation because sometimes when you start trying to for the lack of a better word like when you start checking people how they treat you or you say something about something that they did that you quite didn't like sometimes that caused friction between the two but it was like well how i've been doing it all this time like what's different now like what's different now it's like i'm tired of it <laughs> you know so um i don't know that's something that i'm really working on and i'm balancing because another key <laughs> is you have to treat you have to let people know how to treat you because how they may treat somebody else may be okay for that person, but it may not be okay for you. And that's what I had to realize that you may treat other people like this, but don't treat me like this. I don't like that. And, um, that, and that's something that I am definitely learning to do. And that's hard. I, I have that, that touch of people pleasing in me. So it's like, you know, whatever works best for everybody. But sometimes it's like, no, that's not working for me. And I have to be able to stand in that and let people know that's not okay. Um, what was another one I was just thinking about? Um, I can't remember now, I had another one. But anyway, oh, so then I guess we could talk about, um, oh, you have to be able to let your friends check you sometimes. Like, I be telling my friends, like, please check Stay me. Stay in the left two lanes. If I'm out of line, tell me. Let me know so I can fix it. I feel like you're not my friend if you see something going on and then you can't say nothing to me. Then I feel like you're not really that good of a friend because a real friend is not going to let you act a certain kind of way or get treated a certain kind of way or misused or they're not going to see something that's negative negatively impacting your life and not say anything like i tell my friends all the time like i'm mad at y'all they be like why i'm like because i was getting fat and ain't nobody tell me <laughs> like Y'all yeah, ain't tell me. Like, they was like, well, we know you got your high thyroid, and I know you got this and that. Like, still tell me, sis, tell me I'm fat. Tell me I'm gonna gain some weight. Because I see you way too late, because I see me every day. Like, tell me. Tell me. Because <laughs> I need to know. And I don't want to hear from somebody else. Like, ooh. Like, someone you ain't seen in a while, like, in the streets. And then they be like, ooh, like, you done gained some weight. And then you go back and like, dang, I did get fat. Like, I did gain some weight. And then you go to your friend, like, friend, how come you ain't telling me I was getting fat? Like, it's okay. Sometimes hurt my feelings a little bit to tell me the truth. To get me to where I need to be. 
Like, don't let me just be trifling and then wait till it's too late. Well, friend, I wanted to tell you, but I wasn't sure. Like, no, friend, no. Then we're gonna have to rethink our friendship because we're not friends like I thought we were. Like, you need to tell me if you feel that I may be gaining some weight. Cause you know, like, I feel like my friends know how I like to feel, know how I like to look. And if I'm not looking or feel, or, you know, or I don't seem like I feel like I would normally want to feel, like, tell me, like, hey, Michelle, I noticed that you ain't been getting your hair done. What's going on? Like, ask me, like, girl, you know, it's time to get your hair done. How come you ain't got your hair gone done? What's going on? I feel like, um, you know, a real friend will check you on that kind of stuff. Be like, girl, your nails, good lord, I know you're busy, but can we get these nails done? Because this is not how you roll. Like, tell me. Tell me. You know, that's what real friends do. So, <laughs> but, um, but also, I guess the last thing to talk about is that there are levels to friendships. Everybody's not meant to be in your inner circle. And everybody don't deserve to be around you like that. Some people just don't have your best interest in them for for nothing. Some people just are trying to be your friends just for themselves because it come up for them. You got something that they want or you're a very giving person. So they're trying to get what all they can from you without giving anything back. Those are friendships you want to walk away from. But that's not beneficial. It's one thing helping people and helping somebody. But if you're always helping somebody and that person can never help you or can never do anything for you, then that's a telltale sign, honey, that you might want to walk away because it's not the season for that. And it's not the time for that. You make a pop up every now and again to help them, but you got to let that stuff go. <clears throat> And even I feel with people you've been friends with, they may move in and out of your inner circle, middle circle, outer circle. Like, I believe that. You have to be close in a season, but then sometimes you grow apart. So that person may be moved to a middle outside circle because um, you still have that love and that care for them. Y'all have that friendship. Y'all still have that bond, but it's different because of... Um, you're not in the same space and then you're not close like that in this moment and then it may come back to where you're closer later on but just not for right now so just know that there's a time and a season for close relationships and relationships will change and move around and become different and then um you know and, and that's okay I feel like we can't ever get caught up like this is my best friend that's my best friend that's my best friend you better like but in two years from now you might have a different best friend for right now and that's true that friend you still love and care for them deeply but you know it might have changed a little bit y'all still good friends they may not be your best friend right now and that's okay like you ain't got to hold on to something trying to be loyal when it's not working for you so yeah I think that's it y'all <laughs> I just really been thinking about friendships and relationships a lot and my relationship with my fiance definitely brings up in two miles um, continue a lot of things um, about relationships for me because since we're growing this bond between us about to become husband and wife, I start to see relationships differently. And then I start to cherish some relationships a little bit more than I probably didn't at first because I didn't understand that level of friendship at times. And I think that's possible. You may not really realize how good of a friend someone is to you um, until someone points it out or you kind of have an aha moment. Like sometimes something happens or a light switch click off. Like, dang, this person's really my friend. And I just didn't, I didn't see it until like just right now. And that happened to me with a few girlfriends of mine that I didn't realize the relationship we really had. And then once I realized that, oh, they really are a good friend to me, I now make sure that I pour into them, into that friendship with them, because I realize that it is valuable, and that's something that I want as well, and so um, I learned to pour into that relationship to Use let them the right know two lanes to continue. that 
I'm just as much as they friend as they are my friend. And I'm glad that they were the type of people to not take me, um, not talking to them as much. Or I don't even know. That Anyways, we all need friends and friends are very important to us in life. But there are good friends and there are not so good friends and there are horrible friends. But it's up to you to decide what kind of friends do you have. Keep the good ones in your inner circle, the not so good ones, the ones that are kind of iffy. Let them be in like that middle outer circle and then you have your outer circle friends that I consider acquaintances. But we call them friends sometimes. You don't be like, oh, this is my acquaintance. You be like, oh, this is my friend. So, you know, it just sounds better to say friends. But there are levels to friendships. So decide what level people are going to be on so that you're protecting yourself. But also give people a chance. People are going through things and people change. People mature. People grow up. And let people shift in and out that inner circle, outer circle level. It's cool. It's fine. Um, cause some people are not meant to really stay around for long. They were only meant to be there for a short period of time in your life. But when you're trying to hold on to things that are not meant to be, that's when we start really having issues. So reevaluate re your friendships. Um, look at the ones that you feel like you might need to put a little bit more effort in. And then look at the ones you might need to withdraw from. But... Don't do it ugly. Be nice about it. Be respectful about it. And just know that y'all are in two different places at this time. And that things will just be a little different for now until something changes between the two of y'all. You never know. But anyways, I hope you all have a great day. If you like this video, make sure you click the like button. Make sure you're subscribed. And leave a comment down below. And let me know what you think about this video. Like what resonated with you. And um, like what are some friendship tips that you have. So I would love to hear from you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.